This example shows how powerful non-determinism can be, because if you think how would you do this in simulation, you can imagine it's a simple to devise test to do it, but you're doing lots and lots of them. So what we've got here is a orbiter that we wish to prove is round robin, and we have a various number of agents here, shown by the indexes on this rec vector here. And we can do this fairly easily, verify the round robin arbitration in a single property. So what we've got here is two non-deterministic values, chosen agent A, chosen agent B. Because it's non-deterministic, we're not specifying exactly which agent it should be, you know, which index in this rec vector. We're allowing the tool to choose for us. So we've got agent A, agent B, and the stability constraints make sure that they're non-deterministic constants. So the tool can choose any value for agent A, any value for agent B, but it must be stable. And there's a bit that says agent B should be granted. So that's just a flag that we set and clear under varying circumstances. We clear the faglet reset. If we have a grant for chosen agent B, then what we're going to do is we're going to clear that flag. If we have a request for agent A and also have a request for agent B, but there is a grant for agent A, then we're saying B should be next because A's just had a turn. So we set that flag. So what our property says is if we have a grant for agent A, it should mean that agent B is not marked as being granted, i.e. that flag's not set. Because what that would mean is we've had two grants for agent A when B should have had a go. And we know this works for any pair of agents out of all the agents there could be. So for however many indexes there are for this rec vector. So we didn't need to know which pair to choose. Like we would in simulation, we'd have to choose which pair of agents do we wish to test this round robin fairness for. We don't need to do that because the tool will choose any value it likes and it won't miss any because conceptually it's tested at every possible agent for A and B. So non-determinism takes a while to understand for the penny to drop, but it's a very powerful technique, which as we've seen before, is only really useful in formal checks.